Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Zhang Yan on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time we left off, we had taken a couple of towns around here. I was debating whether to attack Gao Gan this coming turn or this turn even, but I am pretty sure I was able to reach there when I recorded this last, which was yesterday. But now I can't, so I guess that's kind of out of the question. I'm probably going to just go east instead and then take this Han Empire town and then maybe attack Han Fu. Although I guess we are... One year. Yeah, we are trading and stuff with you. I kind of fucked that up, didn't I? If I was playing on attacking him, I really shouldn't have done that in the first place. Um, okay, well, first of all, uh, one thing that I was thinking about, if I'm going to be going further east and this way, I should probably make sure that Zheng Zhang actually stays my friend for the moment. So why don't we get at least a non-aggression pact with her? I have to pay her something. I can't give her food because I already have a current food deal. So what if I just paid you... How much would I have to pay you? I don't really want to pay this much. This is already too much. Yeah, I don't want to pay that much. I could give you a shitty ancillary, I suppose. I don't know how many of those I have. Um, if I give her 67 per turn, that's not too bad. Is that, is it, do I, would I, okay, is one ancillary worth 670 bucks to me? Actually, yeah, if I do an ancillary, I might be able to get a little bit of money out of her as well. Do I have any shitty... Yeah, like a clay rat. I don't care about those. Here you go. There's a clay rat. And then I'll take a little bit of money from you, in fact. Oh. Maybe I won't take any money from you. Well. Okay. Well, so yeah. It is literally this 670 bucks then or whatever for one ancillary. I think... Yeah, I think this thing is worth that much. Okay, fine. Cool. Let's do this. Um... I don't think I'm gonna really access for two. Actually, I could if I gave her another. I don't have any more ancillaries though to give her. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep an eye on that. I wouldn't mind being friends with her some more. I guess I can give her the 670 bucks for that one. Um, I'm going to build this. I also want to get some more units. I do want to get my cabin. I don't want to get two right now though. I think I'll build the building, and then next turn we should have enough to recruit a unit. Yeah, we we'll just recruit a unit. This is all being done for free turn still, so that's all fine. And then we're gonna go and attack that soon. But for now, we'll sit here, we'll take the replenishment. We got the mustering replenishment as well, so I, I wouldn't mind benefiting from that for an extra turn. Um, we got a reform, right? So there's no trade available, because Gao Gan and Han Fu are currently trading, so we don't have any trade available with anyone. Uh, having said that, though... Um... I still wouldn't mind getting the extra trade agreement, but I think I'll hold off on it for now. I think we're going to go, like, unit-wise, one unit that would actually be really good with this faction is the Yellow Dragons, because they are a super aggressive, chargey unit that still have a shield, so I can use them kind of as a front line, um, which is pretty solid. So I think they would be a really solid unit to have. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm going to get all these uh, things researched just to get this unit right now, but I can at least put a start in it by getting the income from Peasantry. Which also does something, at least, rather than, like, 10% income from commerce, which I'm pretty sure I don't even have right now. So we'll get that for the moment. Increase our income a tiny bit, too. Why not? Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll just hold off for a second. Next turn, we'll recruit a unit, I think. Uh, and then we'll start moving towards this town. Uh, you want Shao declared war on Gao Gan as well. Faction succession. Uh, Huang Fu Song is succeeded by Han An Yu. Her. Congrats. You got another clay rat. Okay, hold on. In that case. Ah, oh, Sun Chan. It's the wrong one, but. <laughs> uh, Sun Chuan's name is spelled with a U instead of an, uh, an I, but still. Close enough. Uh, oh, he, okay, he's one of those uh, characters I was talking about. So he's in between the shitty regular dudes, which have 15 stats, like this guy, 10 and 5. Uh, or my general, or my uh, legendary characters who have 30 stats. He's in between that and he gets, um, sorry, 60 stats. and he, He's in between and he gets 30 stats. So 10 expertise, 5 resolve, and five, 15 cunning. Now, to be fair, on strategist, it's probably the worst to have 30 stats. Or, like, I'd rather have it on someone who actually does melee too, because... 10 expertise giving like melee evasion is pretty irrelevant for someone who doesn't really care about melee evasion. Um, 
but still, you know, there you go. You, I finally was able to show it. Uh, having said all that, I'm not going to recruit any of these people right now because I'm pretty broke. So yeah, I can get the clay rats traded with her for military access. It's getting better already because our relationships uh, relationships going up. So I probably would have to even pay her less right now. Fifty, sorry, five hundred fifty bucks basically. I think I might wait another turn or two. Because the relationship's going up. Actually, is it going up further Hi, still? Pengyo. Trending towards 37, yeah, by quite a decent bit. So when it gets to that point or around there, we can always do it. Right, so I want to recruit a unit now. I've got nothing to build, so let's just get a uh, one of you guys in there. In there. Uh, and then... That's it for now. I don't want to move yet because I want to benefit from this uh, replenishment for a little bit more. These guys are going to be almost full after all this as well. And then next turn we probably start moving. I'll probably just force march there. Zhang Zhang is there. She's going to take this soon. It's about time though. It's Actually, no, she owns more stuff here. Yeah, I guess she went west and yeah, she took the port here and then... Wait, no, that's the same one. I guess that we don't know what that is then. No, that's the town. She owns that one too. So she owns these three towns here, basically. Or the town, town, port. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's keep trucking along. Did that Han Empire tag just appear there? I feel like that wasn't there before. Declawing his tiger. Soon John is dead. We got What the? Is that like... How many clay rats are we getting per turn now? Is this a... Just a standard get clay rat per turn kind of deal. Uh, how much is this now? Still 1.2. Are we still trending towards higher? Yes, but only 36 now. Okay, out of curiosity though, would anyone get non-aggression with me besides Li Yu? I'm not, I don't even know uh, Yuan Shao, otherwise that would be a good good person to do it with. Do it! Um, You're wait, sorry, not that. I just want to negotiate with you. I'm just kind of thinking who I might want to give more food to. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more money. Yeah. One food for 450 bucks. If you're even going to live that long, because you're going to get attacked soon, I imagine. Well, I don't know. Um, Zhang Yan, I have no reason to attack you, I guess. Receive marriage. Zhang Yan Yang. That is fucking confusing. So my first name is Yan, hers is Yan Yan. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Uh, are you? I don't know. I don't know anything about you. You have a solid retinue, though. I'll tell you that much. But if I'm to believe it, no, that's his retinue. It's just th th that weird bug for some reason. There you go. My current retinue is shit. Uh, okay, just out of curiosity, would they do that? Oh, three point seven. I could make it work, but how about some food? Do you need this? I can get the same money from you for this food. I mean, it's still 450 bucks for one food that I'm not using myself, so yeah, I suppose I will. Uh, I think that's everything. You, oh, I can actually give you more food soon, but that's because that's running out this turn. Zheng, I'm already giving you food. So it's just Gao Gan now, and I'm actually not providing food to. Sure. I guess I could. Another 450 bucks, why not? Sure. Yep, I agree. Okay, oh, we can move further now. So I can actually get the here next turn. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll recruit one more unit now as well. One more unit. Uh, and then I'll get those after, I think, after I take the town. Okay. Um, anything else we can do? I don't think so. Let's end the turn. Alright. Zhang Zhang declared war on Zhang Yang. Han Fu declared war on Gong Xin Zan. Why would you do that? Interesting. Wang Li. Some buildings built. Do I have the money to build anything? And a wooden dog. Man, I'm getting just loads of these things. Uh, 
Um, I don't think I want to give any of this to anyone. Oh, actually, you, you haven't got yeah, you haven't got this cunning thing. There you go. Take the cunning. Forty. I don't really care about that, to be honest. Uh, oh wow, I didn't even notice this yet. He already has night battles unlocked too. Why not level him up just a couple times? I've got all the good shit here. All of the good shit. Okay. Um, I think I'll recruit the units after I take the town. I can't actually build anything though. I haven't got the money. Okay, let's go and take this place. Is there an army? There is an army. Close victory. The size of victory was still medium losses. Great if this would actually. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> this might be the first time I've seen this work. Holy shit, I did not expect that. Okay. Uh, ooh, we did miss out on the money from the actual battle, I suppose, but we also saved loads and loads of our men, so we're in a much better position to immediately go and attack someone else. Having said that, we have treaties with everyone around us. We could go to this town here, but that brings us very far east. It'd be difficult to protect our own shit. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll just occupy this. Thank you. Cool, wow, okay, that army just, uh, yeah, disappeared, I guess. That's awesome. I've actually not seen that before. Okay, um, so we uh, have a couple of buildings here. We got the county office, so I think I'm gonna remove that because I don't want that here. I don't want the state workshops either because this is gonna be food production in this province. Having said that, though, wait, didn't we upgrade this like last turn? Is it? Oh, it was, I guess it was a few turns ago already. Um, Having said that, we can't build two buildings at the same time anyway, so I might as well keep this here for now, right? Just let me get that 100 bucks per turn. Right, what do I do here? Do I upgrade the town? I need to get some level 4 towns already, because I really need to be able to protect myself. Um, this is only level 3, but the garrison level 2 is fucking horrible. To be fair, the garrison level 3 is literally the same. Um... Yeah, it is actually the same. Wow. That's pretty sad. Um, okay. So yeah, that, upgrading that wouldn't actually give me any better garrison, but it does get me close to level 4, which is always nice. Having said that, I would probably just build the food building here next turn, and I won't be able to do that if I do this. Uh, having said that, I can always cancel this building anyway, so that's okay too. Right, okay. I wouldn't mind spending the rest of our money to recruit those last couple units, but that's okay. Ugh, can't quite get there in one turn, unfortunately. But again, I don't know if I want that. Actually, level 5 town would also severely reduce my food, which means I'd actually go bankrupt food-wise. I do want to attack Han Fu right away, but I would become untrustworthy if I do that. Because we still have this deal. Still for 5 turns as well, fucking hell, that kind of sucks. I may, I'm definitely made a mistake there. Zheng Zhang, how about that military access now? Still 1.2. Oh, I'm broke, sorry. Um, 61, 610 bucks for that. Or, alternatively, one wooden or clay rat. How about that? You're so fucking stingy with your money, aren't you? Holy shit. Um, I don't necessarily want military access. I just want to make friends with her. I want her to be friendly with me. I, I don't want her... I don't want to have to worry about the West, right? If I'm if I'm, if I'm going East, expanding East, I don't want to have to worry about that shit. So yeah, let's do this. Hopefully we uh, become bigger mates. If I had the next tier, I could... Um, could get a uh, alliance for coalition with her, but I need to be second marquee, which we are not quite at just yet. Still need 18 points. If I keep this, I'll get closer. But uh, anyway, so next turn, I don't know what we're gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna recruit the units at least, and then I can't betray here, so I'm gonna probably have to just kind of wait until something happens to me. If I get attacked, I could go attack Gao Gan, but I gave her food as well recently, so. Selling all this food is nice for income, but <laughs> it's kind of ruining my expansion plans. I can't attack anyone anymore. Oh well. Zhang Yang descends, descends to destroy Yuan Shao. Okay, I'm gonna murder Yuan Shao. Fair enough. Oh my god, we didn't get a clay rat this time around. What am I gonna do? Okay, yeah, so we're already building something here. I, I'll, I'll let that build, that's fine. 
I will spend the rest of this money to recruit a couple of units. I guess that'll just be the G Militia then. I don't really want Saber Militia. They would just kind of look awkward in this army. I think I'll just get G Militia and then eventually these guys are going to probably get replaced by the Spear Guards. But we'll see. We shall see. Alright, yeah. Alright, yeah. Okay, well... Yeah, not much we can do. I think I'm just going to hang around here. Either way, it's winter, so I'm not going to be attacking anyone, but... Um, yeah, I just... I don't really want to... I, I don't really want to take this. It just brings me so far east. And it surrounds me completely... Oh, okay, so that's owned by Gongshan Zan. And then this is Han Fu, and then just to my south would be Yuan Xiao. Although this is Han Empire, so there's still more Han Empire stuff as well, but... I almost wish I didn't have trade with this guy, because this would be a perfect target for me right now. Just keep, just get my, uh, keep my land a bit together, right? Because if I go south, then it's, it, we, we're kind of got like a straight line that way, and it, that isn't really a good way to expand. Especially while I can't afford a second army yet. So let's see. Maybe someone will declare war on me. And otherwise we'll wait out the Han Fu uh, trade thingy with Bob. Immovable. Alright, I haven't got it. This is that thing where someone, like, there's a couple and they want to stay where they are, but I can't do anything because I haven't got the traits, so let's force them to move. Pay a bunch of money. Great. Jade Archer. Ooh, that's pretty good for you, isn't that? More ammunition, please. Gang the Wu. Wu? Who? Who are you? You are just a generic old dude. Sun Chuan is still there. So I could actually recruit him still, but. Again, I don't want to pay that upkeep for him. Wang Li. No. No, I'm afraid. Uh, we got another reform. Right. Is there any trade available yet? Has anyone been taken out? That I could trade with? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, cancel. More trading with you. Perhaps Gongshin Zan. I could trade with him, maybe. If he has one available. You know what? I'll, I'll get it now. Because if he takes that town there... Okay, what would the next thing be here? 10% income from all sources. I don't care about that that much. Let's get the trade. And then if I do get trade... If, if he takes this town, which he very well might do, I can get trade with him going. Alright. Uh, let's move on. So, like, three more turns left until I can attack Han Fu without any diplomatic repercussions, which is nice. Wang Kuang declared war on Han Fu. Ooh, shit, okay. That sucks. He's down here, isn't he? No, that's Yuan Shao. Wang Kuang is down here, okay. Oh, boy, is another clay rat? That's a water clock. Okay, don't care about that that much. That's a good thing to trade away. Ah, oh, I really want to attack you, man. Dongjo loves it. Gao Gan doesn't. Would I become untrustworthy to speed this process up and attack him right now? I can also build something here. I can also save my money and build this instead. Gives me more money. This gives me more food. Food! Uh, also, the assignment's probably going to run out soon. Yes, it will. Oh, yes, it will! Mm, I'd rather get the garrison upgraded here, I guess. You know what? I, what I'd really rather do is upgrade this town so I actually don't have to worry about my capital getting taken from behind me. <sighs> Why did I do this trade? Why? Why did I make that mistake? It's just problematic, because if that Wang Kuang... I guess if the Wang Kuang guy comes up, I'll attack him instead. But I don't really want to. I don't want, I don't want to be a war of everyone around me. I just want to be a war of like one person. So I attack Han Fu, take his shit. Then I attack the next person. I guess for the moment we're still replenishing, but... I don't even know if I'm allowed to attack him. Plus it's actually... Even though it says two turns, that means it's three turns. Because next turn it'll be one. Turn after that, it's zero. And then after that, it's going to be gone. And I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to attack him after it's gone. I might still have to wait ten turns after that as well. But I don't have an alternative, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to build anything there. At least no one else is attacking me. And you want Shao is kind of blocking that one Kong guy from really going there, so... Character wound... What the fuck? 
Steps outside to go hunting as a violent monsoon howls and batters the walls. The hunting trip is only mentioned in jest because of the storm, but your obstinate g general sees it as a challenge and cannot be dissuaded. Character Wound Zhang Yan. Oh, thanks for that. Alright, he's back next turn. Okay, he can't command the army. You gotta be kidding me. This, this is bullshit right here. Okay. I can upgrade this. I don't quite have the money to get this upgraded, unfortunately. Do I wait or do I build something else here? Uh, I could build this and I would still get. I still have the money next turn. But I don't really want to build that because it's kind of shit. I wouldn't mind building this for the extra garrison, but. I guess, yeah, as long as we're friends of her, she's not going to attack me anyway, so that's okay. Yang Xing and Lia, Liang Mao. Liang, Liang Mao. Mao. Uh, oh yeah, I can build a tax collection. You know what, actually, building the tax collection unlocks that research, doesn't it? The one that I need to get at some point, this one. Yes, and it's free, so I guess I might as well build that. Takes two turns. Well, I wonder if that's actually an upgrade that um, Lee Bay's building has, which is that it takes only one turn. Um, I wonder if that's part of the actual upgrade of that building, is that it takes a turn less to build as well. All right, well, you're wounded. Fucking great. Not something I had anything to do with, but there we go. Shit happens, I suppose. Okay, so next turn, this is going to be on zero turns, and then the turn after that, I'm allowed to attack him. Hopefully. I might still have the diplomatic repercussions, to be honest, but we'll see. Ugh, stupid Xiang Yan going outside and getting herself fucking destroyed. Uh, Chu Gong? Don't really care. That guy's being called back from assignment, right? You can be leading the force again now. Much better. Got ourselves another level up though, we're going there, because I want to get that armor, and I don't mind the campaign moon range if he decides to lead an army. Right, so yeah, there you go, One, on zero turn, so next turn hopefully I can attack. I really, really hope so. Um, yes. Oh man, you want Shaz right there. Fuck, if I attack him, wait, are they at war? I wonder if they did, maybe he just declared war. Yep, he did. Okay. Oh, it's fucking winter, too. Ugh. Zhang Yang declared war on Wang Kuang. Okay. We built the rural tax collector already, so I'm immediately going to remove it again. Because I don't actually want it, because happiness becomes the problem if I keep it. Yeah, definitely would. Um, I just wanted to get it to unlock the building. I'm assuming the building is actually unlocked. I'm not sure if you actually have to keep the building or not. But that's something that was worth finding out, I suppose. Right, do I let them fight it out first and then I attack him, or do I get in here before he does and suffer the attrition of winter, but I definitely don't want to upgrade that. I do want to upgrade this, but again, I might just keep the money so I can upgrade this instead, although once again, I'm going to be just shy next turn, unless I can take this right now. Right, first of all, am I allowed to declare war on you? So this, this is gone. Is war allowed? Yes, it is. Okay. So no diplomatic repercussions for me doing that. Well, let's get the fuck in there then. Should have maybe checked if there was any armies nearby. Uh, ooh, Pyrrhic victory. Still Pyrrhic victory. Okay, well, I'll siege him out then. I... I could fight it. I have the trebuchet, but... I don't have explosive shots, and it would just be... Yeah, be very painful. I'm not gonna do that. Um, and he might attack me anyway with that, that little force right there. There might be even more that attacks me, but if it's a field battle, that's okay. So yeah, let's just continue to siege. I can't demand surrender because there's no one in there. Like, no actual commander to agree to that. This is Jinping. It's not actually Han Fu. And we've got Zhang He. Huh? Okay. And then, yeah, the one shows right there. So I got in here at least before he did. I, I hope he comes that way. And then not takes that farmland, because I kind of want that. Looks like Yuan Shao might be my next uh, target here very soon now. I've met him now. Does that mean he's going to declare war on me? Oi! Like, would you like some food? 
Can I offer you some oh, some food, my friend? Means I can't declare war on him for a while either if I do this. But that's a lot of money for one food. Actually, can I buy two food? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. He said yes to 230, I saw. Um, yeah, that's pretty good for a little bit of food, to be honest. Also, I have full trade. So I can't get trade with you. Okay, so if I do this and I make friends with this boy... I mean, he might betray me anyway, but yeah, if I make friends with this boy, then I can just... Um, I can just declare war on Gongshenzan and go further east, I guess, and then eventually we'll attack Liyue as well. Okay, before I do this, let me see, because I, I, I don't trust you. So what if you... what if I just ask for a sort of money from you? How much would you give me right now? Because then I have my insurance that I have the money right away. It's not great, though. It's like... How much was it? 230? So, I, I, it's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, even after, after three turns, if he doesn't declare war on me for three turns, I'd already make more money from the request. So, this is probably better. I'm going to be food bankrupt if I do this. And actually, that level four town is going to take food. But, let's assume we'll be okay. He might, again, he might betray me and then I'll get my food back anyway. So, hey, there you go. Let me just min max this shit, actually. There you go. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, didn't mean to do that much, but... Holy shit. What the? I'm glad I decided to min-max this a little bit. I got way more money out of this. Okay. Come on now. Don't be a little bitch. Okay, I guess it was 45. Alright, cool. Yep. I'll take that. Thanks, Nine. Sounds good to me. I don't know what you just said to me. Uh, and then I still can't do anything. Oh, if I had taken the money right away, I could have built that. But now I can build it next turn, so that's fine. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have still. I still wouldn't have been able to build it this turn. I'd be able to build it next turn. All right. Attack me then. Not you. Form coalition. Do I want to be mates with? Yuan Shao. I'd have to give him a War Axe and a Clay Rat and a little bit of money. The money I'll make back. I don't really want to give him the War Axe. It's not great, but... Coalition with the Yuan Shao. I think that might not be a bad idea because it allows me to at least focus completely on the northeast of the map. I'll declare war on Liu Yu at some point after probably taking care of Gongshan Zan and uh, Gongshan De. As long as he doesn't ask... Well, actually, no, if he asks... Um... <laughs> yeah, if he requests for uh, Gongshin Zan to join in, I'll just be like, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't really want to give him this, but... I'm afraid if I don't... Oh, man, if I hadn't given him the food, <laughs> I could have gotten the food in here, but then I wouldn't have made a lot of money per turn. Um, I think this is the best I can do, to be honest. I don't think I've got anything else I can really give him. Uh, I got a these things. That's not enough, but never. Oh, wow. Well, I, I guess I don't have the money to actually give him. Okay, so let's take away. Well, in that case, so Clay Rat, Water Clock, Wooden Dog. I, I care the least about the Water Clock, because the replenishment's only for that particular person. So you, it's like for the character that has it, not for the retinue, not for the army. It's just trash. So we'll give you this thing as well. And then 347 bucks. Yeah, I can make that. Not sure if I can still build that building next turn if I do this, but... Yeah, coalition with you one shot. Seems like a good idea to me. What is our coalition going to be called? Uh, I guess we'll be able to see it later. Ooh, I got achievement. BFFs. <laughs> guess I've never made a coalition before. I'm not sure. Oh, man. All the fucking shit I just noticed. Wang Lang has declared war on me. Wang Lang! That's the guy all the way down here somewhere. Right? Oh wait. No, he's over here. Oh fuck me, he's close. This campaign has just changed completely. Are we at war with... Oh yeah, we were already at war with you. That's not changed. Um, okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't, I don't care about that. Uh, war is the... Oh, he, he, wait. He, did, he just declared war on me specifically. Okay, I can call for aid. Um... Okay, so that means he's up for it, right? So if I say call for it, he will join me. Yeah, I guess so. Broke the coalition immediately. Uh, Alright. 
One land declared war on me. Collapsed tunnel, smoked, siege equipment, constructed sapping. Our sapping mission ends in failure, Lord. Team digging beneath this enemy zone are discovered and smoked out. They return to us now, coughing profusely, but otherwise none the worse for the experience. Okay. Whatever. Does that actually have any kind of impact? Our sapping thing is still there, so... Alright. Uh, I'm still gonna have to hold this one out. Okay. So... Rural tax collector, I built the building. I have, yeah, because I have to pay that 300 bucks, I don't have the money anymore to actually build that building now. <laughs> God damn it. Um, okay, so this is interesting. Yeah, we can see all the Yuan Shao territory. He's definitely rather large. Not much more, lar not much larger than I am. Hopefully I can take this and then take this building. God damn, those fucking beams over there, holy shit. I can also build something here instead. Uh, 1400 bucks, I'd know. If I, I can build this, and I can still build that building next turn. Can I? Hold on. Yeah, almost exactly. I'd have 20 bucks left over if my income doesn't change. I don't care too much about that building, though, so I'm not going to bother. Did I ever upgrade? Yes, I did upgrade that. That's good. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll keep my money again. Uh, the reform, right. So we, we already got the second trade one. So I guess this will probably just go back into here again. Uh, oh! Okay, so science has been done. If you have this building, uh, or if you remove the building after you built it, uh, the reform is locked again. So you have to build, you have to get the reform while your building is up. Science has been done. Good to know that. So basically, I have to build this back up again. If I want to actually build the building. If I do it though, I'm gonna have to. I will suffer some unhappiness. So I'd have to do it in three turns, and then it'll be done on the turn that I get the next reform, and then I can remove it again right away. Okay, cool. That's what we'll do. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep sieging out for now. Is there any, any other diplomacy I can do? Right, we should probably. Oh no, I guess should, since we're in a coalition, that, 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 that doesn't actually do anything. I was gonna say I should probably get non aggression back with you want Shao, but. Being in a coalition kind of means that's already a thing. Um, speaking of Gong Shenzhan, yeah, I have trade available with him, but I can't trade with him because we don't border him. So he does have two trade available still, though, so hopefully he's going to keep that available. Um, we can bat Liu Bei as well. He's all the way over there. I guess, yeah, all the borders are just telling me about this shit now, so he's just over here. Still doesn't tell me, but yeah. Oh, that's the other term of rebellion. There you go, Liu Bei. Um, okay, Liu Dai. And then Wang Lang is here in Dong City. What the fuck? That's a weird ass campaign, by the way. By the way. Okay. Keeping the money. And turn. Wang Quang. I don't really want Wang Kuang in this coalition, if I'm honest with you. Wang Kuang, who's that? That's this guy right here, right? That's Zhang Yan. Wang Kuang is the guy over here. I have no real reason to attack him anytime soon. I guess I will be busy with this part of the map for the, for a while. I'm kind of I'm going to be closing myself in here, but eventually. Oh, it's also the coalition to defeat barbarians. Great. Um. I guess I don't mind. I don't want to. I don't want to make him pissed off with me. So I get. Oh my god, he's the strongest faction in the game right now. So yeah, I guess I'll accept your um, proposal. Don't invite too many people, though. We want to keep this party small. Ooh, is he going to take that thing right there? Oh yeah, he acknowledged legitimacy. So I know what this means now. And essentially, uh, this is just... It's his resource, essentially. So if I, if I accept this, it doesn't really cost me anything. He gets his resource up, which means he can spend it on things. Um, but yeah, for 1,288 bucks, I think I'm okay. I might do that. Uh, having said that, can I get more from just a request payment? Oh, I definitely can, can't I? Definitely. Hello? The fuck? Alright. Yeah, this would be worth it. It's uh, more than double the amount of money I'd get from it. I can also marry his daughter, right? Uh, Yuan Anyang. Uh, probably would piss off. Oh, they don't hate each other. 
probably would piss off um, his big ol' half-brother, though, who is, of course, my coalition member mate, so maybe not. Maybe try not to piss him off too much, right? So yeah, I'll take this money, though. Thanks. Things are looking up. Can you sally out now, please? Damn it. Taking quite a bit of uh, attrition in the um, supplies department. Lucky shuts walls. We destroyed a wall. Great. Ancillary's labor recruiter. Great. Uh, a couple of Lees. The Lee brothers apparently just uh, became available. Support vassal independence. Tsai Mao and Guangzhou. How much are you willing to pay me for that? Holy shit. Not a lot. Nope, don't make payment. Request payment. Oh, wow, okay, he just doesn't like paying over time. He doesn't fucking mind this, though, does he? 653. The vessel independence thing isn't actually what I used to think it was, so yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy to do this, because it doesn't it doesn't cost me anything. I think Liu Biao dislikes me for it, but if he wants to declare war on me, he's welcome to do so from all the way down here. Uh, and then, yeah, you as well. Fuck it. Oof, you love even more. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna happen either. I'll just take the regular payments. This is gonna be good. Fuck me, this guy's well rich. Holy shit. If only he were able to pay me per turn. Be a lot better, but he won't, so. Just gonna have to take this. 1188 bucks. There we go. Right, Li Biao. I don't think he even cares about that. I think what this means though is that if they do declare war on him, then I automatically join him. I join them even. So yeah, we're in a coalition to defeat barbarians. Oh wait, the other person didn't join. Wang Kuang. Or Wang Yang, whoever the fuck it was. I thought you invited him in. And I guess he didn't want to. I guess I said yes. <laughs> but the guy was like, no, actually, I don't want to join you. Why are you asking me? All right, so our income is pretty solid now. We can finally build this building too. We're on zero food, and when we take this building, or take this town, we're going to be losing food right away. Luckily, we can build this as well now. We'll certainly need to build some more food buildings now. Uh, and then I guess I'll remove this, at least in a couple turns, when I have almost got my reform available. Because I want to build that other building, and they get the reform unlocked. I guess we public order and all that. Okay, so next turn they start taking attrition here. Ooh, Han Fu is... Oh, Han Fu was just not in his own territory. He came from down here. Is he gonna be okay? He can't reach if he uses force march stance, so he might reinforce. He might actually reinforce everything from over here as well. That would be interesting. Might be a big old battle all of a sudden, but that's okay. I'd love to attack them so I get the uh, ambush stance thing, but let's do this siege for the moment. Uh, okay, so we're probably gonna have a big, big old battle after this. Uh, we are not gonna remove that building yet. I've done. Quite a bit of diplomacy this turn, so I don't think there's much else I can do. Like, yeah, I can get relations with Yuan Shu and Gongshu Zan. I don't want to get it with Yuan Shu because uh, Yuan Shao will probably dislike me, and I don't want to get it with Gongshu Zan because he's my next proper target, I think, to be honest. Do I have military access for your lands? Is that automatically a thing? Yeah, I guess so. If you're in a coalition, you're allowed to move through people's lands. Fair enough. 633 bucks for a couple of my things and an aggression pact. Nah, sorry mate. Sorry, Leo Bay. But that don't fly with me, boy. Oh shit, Gongshan's on. Or sorry, Yong Xiao already took that place. Oh, he's on his way to... Oh man, I would. I am rooting for Han Fu there. Han Fu, take Yuan Xiao's provinces so I can take it from you. I'll gladly have you do that. Han Fu signed a peace treaty with Dong Zhou. Wow, what did he do? Did you, do, did you become his vassal? No, he didn't, because otherwise I would have said. Interesting. Okay, well. Um, you're taking attrition as well. I wouldn't mind if you took this, but I've got a feeling you won't be able to anymore. Well, we might still be able to. Just take something, anything, really. Just take something so I can take it from you. Uh, anyway, this is still Pyrrhic. It's close now, still medium losses. Stake and attrition though. Guess I'll wait one more turn. I do want to do this soon. I don't want to take medium losses, but 
I want to get this over with so I can go take this farmland before someone else does. Like, who are you at war right now? A lot of people. Anyone could just come over here and take this shit now. Long Xiao apparently still lives too. Uh, we can't build anything. We have some money, which is nice, but we can't use it. Close victory. I'd still lose like half my army and it would just take too long to replenish it. Nah, I'm gonna wait them out. Sucks, but I have to do it. Surprised they haven't attacked me yet, to be honest. Not aggression. No, sorry, mate. I'm not interested in that. Uh, do you? Ah, oh, cease. I'm sorry, mate. I don't want that one. Minus 13.8. So, does that mean he won't actually accept it? Because last time I accepted, uh, I guess we became better friends, but he still declined anyway. So I'm guessing this mi minus 13.8 is him saying, no, I don't want to join you, even though we invite him. So let's find out. Fuck it. If he does join, so be it. It's outside of Kagura on me. Okay, so you won't join me if I say, if I call you in here. So I'm gonna cancel that one. I guess I'm just at war with Sad Sao now. Fine. Fair enough. Oh shit, my supplies. I totally forgot about that. He took that. That used to be um, uh, Yuan Shao, so that's good. Sad Sao declared war on me. Alright, well, he's down further this way somewhere. We've got a lot of wars going on right now, but none of them that really seem to be too important to me specifically. Oh shit, did I forget to. Ah, oh, damn it, yeah, I'm one turn too late now. I'm one turn too late on demolishing this and rebuilding it to build the other. Actually, no, I can do this. Cost me a little bit of money, but at least I can get this done. And then I'm, yeah, okay. And I can still make money from it. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. You, you pay money to demolish it faster and you make money from it. Uh, okay, so we're going to do this now. Even if it's still a close victory, I have to do it because I, otherwise I'll take uh, military supply losses. I could fight it myself at this point. Possibly lose more, less men, but yeah, fuck it. Please don't be more than a thousand. Oh god, that's painful. Infantry units is completely demolished. Our food is uh, down the drain. Oh, because of that building, right? So this is one of those cases where it would take four turns to change this over to make me food. If I just demolish it, my food issue is immediately sorted. Sort it. Um, but obviously it takes a lot longer to fix it, or to bring it back up to level 3 again as well. And it costs a lot more money too, but at least my, my food issue is fixed right away. So I think I am going to demolish it right away. And this is a 200 bucks per turn. I have to definitely repair that. Now that I know it only repairs 150 bucks per turn, I just got to repair the ship manually. Do I want to keep this one too? Again, it's like 200 bucks and I can only build one building at a time, so I might as well. Okay, replenishment is fucking rank. Great. So is he part of the coalition now? He still isn't. No. So yeah, that uh, that does that is what it means. He just isn't. He didn't want to join us, so he, so he didn't. Um. Okay. Patient. Friends. Yeah, we built buildings, etc. Or demolished buildings. Okay. There is one thing I can build, which is that, and I guess I might as well get that garrison back up and also increase my income by 100 per turn. That said, costs 3,700 bucks to do it, so it takes a long time to make that money back. Holy shit, even my generals took a lot of damage there. Fuck me. That was pretty bad, to be honest. Um, so yeah, minus two, from the, uh, minus two food from that, which isn't too bad. And then we're repairing these two and demolishing that, so... Our income should be go going up a little bit. Our replenishment could really do with going up, though. There might be some forces in there, too. This one's still taking attrition. They might die, actually, soon as well. I wonder if he's trying to make the home. I don't know what he was planning there. He was, he was going this way towards the, uh, the city of small uh, of Anping. And then he decided to go down this way instead. Not entirely sure why. I think in the end I probably should have fought that battle myself. You would peace out, but I don't think there's anything I could want from you. It's only barely anyway, so there's no way I could get anything from you, even if I wanted to. Alright. 
we do appear a lot weaker right now. Okay, so we're inviting Liu Dai, who doesn't want to, but again, he likes me if I accept, so yeah, sure. Invite him in. He's taking that city, as expected. Uh, Non-aggression pact with you, but you want me to give you... No. Sorry, but... Uh, that don't fly with me, boy. Okay, so he's back in his farmland now. Gotcha. That yellow turban bowing looks different than usual. Wang Kuang signed a peace treaty with Han Fu. Good, let me be the one who takes out Han Fu. Fine by me. Uh, right, so this is going to be... Uh, the land development. Yeah, so we have to rebuild all the way back up from scratch, but at least our food issue is sorted. So it... And it certainly needs to be, because in three turns we're going to be going down even further on food. I think we still have some food to get back from Diplomacy. Yeah, two more. I don't know when we get it, but we are going to get some more food back. Oh, fuck, I also totally forgot we have an assignment. This guy's been available for assignment for a while now. I've been just missing out on that. Loads of experience missed out on as well. Almost wondering if I should recruit one of these... Ooh, hello. Okay, he's not a unique character or anything, nor is she. He is legendary already, I don't know why, I don't know why not, or why he is even. Resourceful, oh my god, cunning and temperamental, no, that's not very good. Quiet, disciplinarian, fatigue resistant, that's pretty good. And unobservant, Ugh. cunning is not really a big deal, resolve is quite good. I don't care too much about the line of sight. She's 55 already though, damn. Her, if their ages were turned around, I might have actually recruited her, because I, I do want one of these guys, because they're... If I recruit them and then put them into the um, assignment thing, it's pretty useful. Your traits are just trash though, aren't they? That one's fine. That one's great, but it doesn't really help him because cunning. That one's bad because resolve's quite good. Instinct is also good though. Minus three public order doesn't really matter that much. He was loyal to Dongzhu. He's level three already, so he could have actually gotten some wrong skills as well. Be a waste. See, I'm just gonna hold off on that for now. So you're gonna do your food thing again. Okay. Uh, and then I'm still low on supplies. I can actually get there in a single turn, so I might be able to attack there next turn once I replenish a little bit more. Oh, God, it's really horrible here, isn't it? I'm wondering if I should go to this town here to replenish perhaps faster. Pretty sure I replenished a lot faster in these places here. I don't know exactly what the reason is. Could be supplies. Uh, that just increases military supplies. I mean, actually, supplies, I think, also in increase your replenishment rate. Uh, basic replenishment rate, population, characters. Minus 4% for military supplies. There you go. So that when that goes up further and further, it's going to go up. So I guess that's actually main, mainly the reason, to be honest. Okay. Um, kind of surprised I gotta say that during this whole episode we just didn't have a battle unless we get one now but nice Adam oh shit okay well I gotta attack it next turn because otherwise he's gonna do it no he got peace though didn't he maybe he's just on his way to take that back from them that's always possible yeah our finish is going up already because we don't have that minus 4% in fact we have plus 2% so we increased it by 6% just now uh, Dong Zhou signed a peace treaty with Zhang Zhang. I don't know if I like that. I want her to keep fighting. I don't want her to be uh, a wild peace treaty with him as well. Dong Zhou is still alive, by the way. Zhang Yang signed a peace treaty. Oh man. If she gets too much peace, she's going to declare war on me. I don't want that. We're still mates. Trending downwards now, though. Yeah. Actually, he wants it. She doesn't. Um. I don't really have anything else to do, to be honest with you. The rural tax collector, right, so now we can get this thing down here. Plus two public order, and then we can immediately remove the building. Go away. Because I don't want the minus four public order that it brings. I like the income, of course, but I don't want the public order. So are you actually still at war of Han Fu? You are. Okay, so you are possibly going to be taking that. I thought they pieced out, but I guess they didn't. So I should go take it before he does. My army's a bit wounded, and there might be a lot of shit in there, but he might just reinforce me. Uh, oh, that's 
That's the wife or daughter of uh, Yuan Shu. We saw her earlier. We could marry her. We were able to marry her. Um, court. She's not even any, anything special either. Sad that. Okay. So we're going to go and attack here, I think, because otherwise he's going to take it. I need this farmland. Ooh, hold on. Okay, if I attack him, I get an ambush, right? Ah! Ah! Ah, oh, it's low losses. I, I, I kind of want to fight this one, <laughs> just because we haven't done a battle in a while. I can make it a night battle as well. And it's, I mean, it, yeah, this is like the auto resolve that you would always auto resolve, but I think we're going to fight this one simply because it's another ambush battle. We haven't really seen these yet. We've, well, just the one. Plus, we haven't any, had any battles in this episode. Uh, for uh, a bandit, outlaw person, we're playing this one um, kind of heavy on the diplomacy. We're playing this one like Satsa. <laughs> Manipulating people against each other and stuff, but... Oh well. So yeah, despite this being an ambush, this is kind of the thing with this, right? Is that we finally have the super good ambush thing, but our army is kind of suited towards long-ranged <laughs> warfare, the trebuchet and everything. Um, having said that, though, we charge into cavalry and we just immediately fucking demolish them all, so... I am gonna just do that. I like how they need to get here and there because they start so close. Like if they have a full army, you go all the way back. But since there's only a small detachment, they start right at the front and they're actually almost there already. Do I keep you this close? Possibly a bit risky, to be honest. Um, all my archer units. I'll probably keep them in the forest, actually. Yeah, just have some infantry all over the place. Uh, and then my other calf. Alright. Looks good. Oh, you actually want to get in there because you've got that insane ability. Okay. Uh, cavalry charges in first. They're already uh, super low on morale. Oh, fuck. I forget. I, all the units are just. Oh, wait. Are you guys not on fire at will? Here you are. I don't know why you're not firing, that, to be honest. Okay, I think we won, though. No real surprise there, for being honest, but he's gonna try and escape. Don't let him fucking escape. Doesn't want a jewel. Oh, no way he's actually gonna escape. You're kidding me! You made a straight beeline for it! Oh, I can still kill him. Okay, I still got a chance to kill him, though. Did we kill everything else? Yes, basically. You guys are on fire at will, but you're not actually firing, are you? Okay, we won. Can we kill him off? Yes, we can. Perfect. All right. Uh, that I'm assuming they just die anyway because it was an ambush and it was a night battle. Although the night battles doesn't matter, I think. But yeah, because it's an ambush, they should just die regardless, right? Yeah, if they have the one, if they have one archer unit surviving, that's okay. That was cool. They killed twelve men. Fair enough. I wonder if I would have lost more of an was over or not. Um. But yeah, that was. Interesting, although, uh, yeah, awkward that my archers weren't firing, despite being on fire at will. I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. Okay, they appear to have survived, but, and there's no flag, so I guess they did actually survive. Interesting. Do I take the replenishment or 233 bucks? I think it's like 2% actually right now. They did indeed survive, but that doesn't matter. Because he's welcome to come back in. Uh, oh, I can actually do this right away with low, low losses. Delegate this one. Or make him take more attrition. Um, well, if it was... Actually, I can demand surrender, but is there any point? Because what are they going to do? Yeah, I delegated then. Because they, they don't have any more towns to run to or anything. That's probably why they didn't take it, to be honest. Level up for you. Okay, perfect. Did you just call me pussy? Did you hear that? Stand, I won't stand for this kind of 
nonsense. Alright, um, I think that's a perfect place to end this episode. Finally had a battle. It wasn't the most exciting battle in the world, not like we were ever going to lose that, but it was a battle nonetheless. Um, so next time, we actually haven't got an enemy, well we have loads of enemies, but they're off to the south and I'm not actually planning on attacking them. I could attack Gao Gan, I'm no longer giving him food as far as I'm aware. I'm not trading with you either. In fact, we still have a trade agreement available. Um, I thought you were... Oh, you are trading with Han Fu still, but I guess because Han Fu himself isn't dead yet. So, okay, so either I could... Um, once this guy dies off, I could trade with Gao Gan, or I could attack Gao Gan, which is probably the more likely thing. I'll take these two towns from Gao Gan, uh, mostly because I want to get them before Yuan Shao gets them. He's at war as well, and he might just take his towns back and more. And be, I don't want that, I want to take those towns. I can get to that one next turn, but not that one. I'm still a bit wounded, so I'm not sure whether I will either way. But we'll see what he does. Um, either way, though. So, that will probably happen. I'll attack him, and if that doesn't happen, then we're going to go east and attack Gongshin Zan and all the other people around here, I think. So, until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, and goodbye.